Here with head coach Aldis Berzins following a 3-0 sweep of Widener to open Mac Commonwealth play here inside Owings Mills Gymnasium. And coach, uh, how would you sum up a successful weekend, a couple of wins, including a big win last night? You come back and get it done here today. Yeah, the win yesterday, unfortunately, was on a Friday. <laughs> they, they couldn't celebrate beating a ranked team like Rutgers was a really... Uh, nice team they had, hadn't lost except to Springfield, the number one team in the country. So uh, that was, a, I think, a real confidence builder for our guys because um, we've been up and down all, all year. And then, uh, yeah, and today, yeah, 1 o'clock, have to turn it around and play a really tough Widener team. They're really scrappy. They have a really nice setter that always delivers a nice ball for their hitters to swing at. And, uh, you know, once we got our block going again, like we did against Rutgers yesterday, um, we were able to win 3-0 both times. And you're able to get a lot of the lineup in, particularly in that second set, but two guys that stood out, Tim Flanagan and Tanner Stouffer. Uh How would you sum up their performance? They delivered on the stat sheet, but they really kind of led you uh, here this yeah. afternoon. Well, Tanner's our senior captain, and he's – led us all year uh, in swinging and in serving. He's, he's, he's our anchor in passing as an outside, along with Mason, the two of them can almost take the whole court, which helps Tim out, which is a freshman and learning, uh, you know, there's pretty tough serves here uh, at this level. And yeah, Tim and Tanner have both you know, just had breakout weekends. Uh, well, I'd say Tim in particular as a freshman uh, played really well at the start of the season in California and then dipped a little bit like you expect a freshman to. And now he's pulled it back up again. And uh, I think Justin is also, you know, a sophomore setter. He's really found a way to get a good rhythm. Got everybody, like we, we sided out, we were talking about stats, like at 95%, I think, in one of the games against Rutgers, which is like unheard of. You know, normally you're siding out 60, 70% of the time if you're winning. But... You know, Justin did a great – everybody's really played well, got the middles going, and Mason anchors, you know, our defense as for libero. And so it's, it was a good start. This, this was important, the conference, right? It's our, our goal is to win the conference. So the Rutgers match was nice being out of conference, but this one was almost more important to get a good start. You know, they're getting, you know, the win. Uh, Go ahead. Absolutely. And after kind of getting back a couple of matches in a row, how do you use these two wins to sort of propel yourselves going yeah. forward? Well, yeah, it's it's great to win. You know, so all the guys, I think, are fired up. And like you mentioned, I got uh, a lot of the, the players that haven't been playing a lot in, um, which is important because they work just as hard in practice in the weight room. And uh, they need experience, too, to push the, the unit that's been playing more in practice because, you know, as you know, we're practicing probably 80% of the time or 90% of the time, you know, just play 20% of the time. So I think that was really good that we got them in and uh, and they, they held their own. I, I think I put them in with a 10-point lead and they kept the 10-point lead uh, to the very end. So gave our guys that play more, more often a break and then uh, we were able to close it in the third set. Congratulations, Coach. We will see you next time. For Coach Borzins, I'm Josh Hill here on GoMustangSports.com.